Hello and welcome to Firepower Device Manager's Dashboard and Reporting Learning Module. This video is part of the mini-series called Cisco's Firepower Device Manager. If you haven't already, please at least take a look at the introduction video to get an overview of what is Firepower Device Manager. Briefly, it is Cisco's new web-based simplified device manager to manage the integrated next-generation firewall of Firepower Threat Defense software offering. In this session, we will look at how to use monitoring to analyze the traffic going through the device and the results of your security policy. You could use the information to evaluate the overall efficacy of your configuration and to identify and resolve network problems. Note, the data used in traffic-related dashboards is collected across from access control rules that enable connection or file logging. The dashboards do not reflect traffic that matches rules for which no logging is enabled. Traffic-related dashboards include the following types of display. The top end bar graphs, these are shown in the network overview dashboard and in the per item summary dashboards. And tables. Tables show items of a particular type. With that items, total transactions, allowed transactions, blocked transactions, data usage, and the bytes sent and received. The network overview dashboard, in summary, shows information about the traffic in the network, including the access rules matched, users initiating traffic, applications used in connections, intrusion signatures matched, web categories for URLs accessed, and the most frequent destinations for connections. The system dashboard, on the other hand, shows an overall system view including a display of active interfaces, overall system throughput, and summary information on system events, CPU, memory, and disk usage. You can restrict the throughput graph to actually show a specific interface rather than all interfaces. With that, let's actually jump into the demo. In this demo, we're going to explore the monitoring tab the network overview dashboard, or what we call the reporting dashboard. We will also drill down and view more into each of the individual dashboards and explore the system dashboard. So here is our Firepower Device Manager. Let's go ahead to the monitoring tab. And notice that by default, it lands us on the system dashboard page. The system dashboard gives you an overall system view, including the display of interfaces and their status, overall system throughput, and the summary information of system events, CPU usage, memory usage, and disk usage. The information, however, shown on the system dashboard is at an overall system level. If you log into the device CLI, you can use the various commands, show commands, to see more detailed information. Example, the show CPU and the show memory commands can include parameters for showing other details. Let's move over to the network overview dashboard. This is our summary dashboard, which is also a reporting tool for policies, users, applications, signatures, web category, and top destinations. Notice you can toggle over to data usage versus transactions. Within transactions, you can also select if you want to see all transactions, denied, or allowed transactions. You can also filter this based on the last 30 minutes of data that you want to see up to almost 
30 days of data. You can even do a custom range if you like. You can click on one of these hyperlinks which will take you to the more specific dashboard. For instance, if you click this block malware policy, it will take you to the policies dashboard which gives you a table view for that particular rule, policy rule transaction. Let's take a step back and go into policy hits table because this tells you all the policy rules that were hit and along with that it tells you how many times that particular rule was hit in terms of transactions. You can also see the allowed transactions, the denied transactions, the total bytes and the total bytes sent and received for that particular transaction. Let's go back to the network overview and explore one of the other charts here. Let's take a look at the web categories and click on one of these hyperlinks, for example, the search engine. Notice it takes us to the web categories table view and we can even step back to the web categories table to see all the different web categories that we have or that the traffic has been passed to. All these are hyperlinks. By clicking on any one of them, it gives you to a more detailed overview for that particular web category transaction. Let's also take a look at our events table. The different types of connections we have here is the connection events. Notice that in the connections event, you can filter on any of these categories on top here. It's predefined filtration capabilities that you see. We also have our intrusion events, file events, and malware file events. You can set a timer to refresh these from 5 seconds to up to 60 seconds. You can also notice that there is a view detail button here which you can click for each of these events to get a more detailed overview of what the event is about. This could tell you more information about the initiator, the responder, the traffic, the transactions, the policy that was hit while the event was generated and the application. Lastly. I want to even talk about user profiles. Notice within user profiles, you have the capability to change your time zone or change your color theme. Let's try this Tangelo color theme and see how our dashboard looks. Notice you see the black and orange color theme now within your dashboard. Let's go back and switch it back to normal and go back to our blues. So this is what I had from the perspective of dashboard and reporting in our Firepower Device Manager. Thank you for joining me today in this session for dashboard and reporting for our Firepower Device Manager. And don't forget to look out for the other sessions to learn more about Firepower Device Manager. Thank you once again.